Hi guys, we have section 5.2 practice page 299 in our books and we're going to work on number 3 which is 1.8 divided by 3 or 1 and 8 tenths divided by 3. So we're working on a decimal divided by a whole number. So what I have below is what you'll do in class is you have our base 10 blocks right here and there's the little bank up here if we need it and I'm going to work on a problem for you real quick so we have 1.8 so I have one hole I have one two three four five six seven eight tenths right there so one and eight tenths and what we need to do is like the problem said divided by three now a good example for this is when you talk about the one for you, one for you, one for you. That's exactly what this is. So what, what you want to show is you want three groups. So you want to make three groups. So first thing I want to do is I want to try to see if I can get rid of as many of these tenths as I can. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Now if you look, we have two left right here. And then I have a hole. Now I can't just go ahead and put this into one group and, be, and call it a day, I got to move along. I got I to gotta, I gotta split this up into tenths. And there are ten tenths in one hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in a bank. I'm going to count out ten tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we have all of these here, and we're going to keep going with our problem. So it's one there, 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 and one there. And you notice I don't have any left up here, but I do have three equal piles below. And now all you have to do is grab one pile and count it, and you will have your answer. So one... 0.8 divided by 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths. The answer is 6 tenths, or 0 0.6. And then, moving on, I'm going to go to the next problem, which is number 7. And number 7 is, a little bit bigger, we're going to work on it. It's 3.78. We have 3.78 divided by 3, and we're going to give this one a try. So 3 and 78 hundredths. So you notice we're going to use the little ones too in this one, and we're going to see what we get. Okay. So right over here, we have it. We have one hole, two holes, three holes. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. And then you have the eight hundredths, these little guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or 3.78. Now we got to put them into three different groups. So the easiest one I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the big ones and get rid of those. One for you, one for you, one for you. So there you go. Now we go up here and let's see if I can get rid of some of these tenths. One, 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 and one. And you notice I can't move on. There's still this one full right here, but I can't move that anywhere. It looks like I'm going to have to take this, this tenth, and split it into ten hundredths. So I'm going to have to go to the bank and get ten little ones for this. So in the bank it goes, and I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Okay, now I have all the hundreds out there. Now I can start splitting them up again. I have one, one for you, one for you, one for you, just like I said. Some of you will figure out, hey, I'd like to get two out at a time if you get good. If not, it's fairly quick. Just run through them real fast. I dropped one over there. So we'll take this. Our answer right here on equal stacks, this is the one I dropped. So on equal stacks, 
3.78 divided by 3 is, all together, we have 1 and 2 tenths, 1 whole and 2 tenths, and 6 hundredths. So we have 1.26, or 1 and 26 hundredths is your answer. So you guys will be working on with these, and we'll also do some shorthand versions in class. But that is the gist of it. If you have any help or need any more help, just let me know. All right, have a good one, guys. Good luck.